Hello and welcome back. It's Steve of Bugs Coins. Hope you're all well. And today we're going to be doing a world coin hunt. Yay! So, I've gone in to my boxes of foreign coins and taken out a couple of handfuls and chose it and just grabbed a mixture of different coins for you to have a look at today. The first one is from Turkey. It is a one layer of coin. The face there, uh, the head is Atatak, Ataturk, sorry, the president of Turkey for many years. He was also a soldier. The, oh, excuse me. On the back, it's, this one's dated 1959, and it's a very simple design. It just has the one lira inside some wheat sheaves inside of the dates. The vintage on this coin is 7,452,000. The second coin is rather a small coin, but it's one that we know well, or a name of coin we know well. This is Polish, and it's too glossy, grossy, gross, grossy, grossy. It's in 2015. Whoa! One second. Oh yeah, uh, sorry about that. I had to uh, sort of stop the film and pick up the coin because I dropped it on the floor like a... The one my fingers are not too good today, I'm afraid. Yes, it's two gross fruit grossy coin from Poland. It's dated 2015. It has a coat of arms on the front and the oak leaves here in the back. The mintage for this lower value, we normally see the five gross of coin, is 129,870,000. This next one here is from Chile, also a brass coloured coin and it's a Bernard O'Higgins, I think, oh, is it Bernard, Bernard O'Higgins, he's a Chilean army officer, it's 2008 and it's 10 pesos is the value of the coin, it shows you there on the back. The gu there's a there's a garland surrounding the ten pesos and the date of money, uh, date of circulation. There are no mintage figures on tr most Chilean coins that I've come across. The next one it says dropping the coins all over the place. My fingers are like nothing, nothing else. This one is from Russia and it shows the double-headed eagle of Russia, the Russian bank. It's five rubles, comes from 2011, and on the reverse there you've got five rubles, and you have vines, vines with flowers on, going surrounding the five ruble thing, and like a lot of Russian coins there are no mintage figures available. The next one is another very thick brass coin from 1985 on the let me just get the pillow in a little bit on the front there there's a portrait of V. Karasin Kanatha Garzo it's been marked for Mexico City it's from 1985 there's no mintage figures available but on the back there you can see the eagle and the snake with the, in the cactus uh, field which is the emblem of course of Mexico. Now, the last one in this little section is from France. There you have the, the bimetallic It's Danielle with a torch. And then on the back it's got 10 francs with the date in the sense of the bimetallic, uh, bimetallic ring. The vintage of it is 433,100,000.
Whoa. It's a big mintage. The next coin you'll recognise possibly from this side. It's a one lira, 1976, and it's Israeli. It's got the in the date in the Hebrew text at the bottom here. Israeli. Uh, it's uh, gives a date and also the um, also the value of the coin in Hebrew on the back here you have stylized flowers which are hibiscus flowers and there's the Jewish um, candelabra I've forgotten the name of it for a second there the mintage of this 1976 coin is 4,268,000 next we go across to Greece there's a hundred drachmas and in the top just above the hundred is the symbol of Macedonia now the reason why the symbol for Macedonia is so important is the head on the front is Alexander the Great who was a Macedonian. This coin dates from 1992 and has a mintage of 129,985,000. Uh, 129, Next we have a tree on the coin. It's an olive tree. It is from Tunisia and it's two dinars from 2013. On the back you'll see there is a two at the bottom of the coin and this is your two dinar. It gives an Islamic date of 1434, 13, which translates to 2013 in ours. And the picture is actually Carthage Punic Harbour. This, is, this one was issued on Boxing Day 2013, so it's 26th of December 2013. There are no mintage figures for this particular coin. And where would we be without Christopher's favourite coins? Yes, we're back in France and we have a 10 centime coin from 1989. The lady on the front is Mariana. And on the back you have the value of 10 centimes with laurel leaves. The mintage is a particularly high 179,995,449. Wow. That's French means a lot of coins. The next one we go back to Turkey. This is a five lira coin from 1975 and it has President Ataturk when he was a military officer on a horse and we have wheat sheaves and laurel and uh, is it olive or it might be olive or something like that forming a garland around the date around the value sorry five lira and the date of issue The mintage on this coin is 10,855,000. Next one's a very small one. It is from the Republic of Portugal. It's one of Scudos. The coat of arms are on this side. And on this side it just gives you the value of one of Scudos. The mintage is 55,560,000. The date of the coin is 1984. 
Next we come to West Germany or the Deutsches Republic Germany. On this side, as on all German coins of this era, you have an oak sapling, which is a very uh, valuable emblem of Germany, yeah, certainly between the interwar and just after the war period. On the back, you have the value with Fennec underneath it. You have an F mint mark, which is Baden Württemberg mint. The date on this coin is 1966. The mintage is 18,094,000. Oops, there we go. 18,094,000. Oh, come on. Fingers keep working. This one. Which way around is it? There we go. Yeah, I hope you get it the right way up, Steve. This one is a 10 centavos. Dated 2010. It's from Brazil. On the front you have a horse and in the foreground of that you've got a portrait which is Pedro the First. This coin is minted at 520,128,000. Large vintage coin. Next one we have is a Grecian coin. Five Jack Mars from 1976. The portrait on the of obverse of the coin is Aristotle, who was 384 to 322 BC, famous philosopher. On the back you've got the five Jack Mars. The mintage of this coin is 85,187,000. We have another bimetallic coin. It's from Portugal. It's 100 escudos and it's dated 1999. The gentleman inside the inner brass ring is Pedro Nunes. On the reverse we have the 100 escudos on the inner circle, on the inner part, metallic part. The mintage of this coin is 13 million. This coin is from Malaysia. It is 20 sen. It's dated 1890, uh, sorry, 1987. Excuse me. On this side you have the name of the country and the value of the coin. And I believe you have a clover leaves either side of it from what I can gain from the description. On this side you have a building and this building uh, I believe is the Houses of Parliament in Malaya. Uh, sorry, Parliament House. That's what it's called. And you have the crescent moon and star. The mintage of this coin is 26,225,000. On the front of this coin, we'll give away where it's from. This is actually Franco. So it's a Spanish coin. It's five pesetas from 1973. The date on the bottom is actually 1957. But if you ever have a look on the stars on this side, it actually tells you it's 1973. Five potatoes and a coat of arms, and the mintage is very high, 78 million. Next one we have a Belgian coin from 1951. There's a portrait on the front, I'm not sure who it is. 
on the back you've got the one franc in between the oak leaves uh, with the crown above it and you have Dutch text Belgian coins come of course with either Dutch or French text on them the mintage of this 1951 coin is 53,750,000 And the very last coin of this hunt was one that caught me out a little bit. This is a coin from 2000 and from 1998, sorry, 2007. I don't know why I got 1998 there. It's an FAO coin from South Korea. It's 51. So that's 51 and it's an FAO commemorative coin. You've got here on the back on the thing is actually rice, rice stalks. The mintage on them is 28 million. FAO is the Food and Agriculture Organization coins. The coins that are from the United Nations and they help spread the message of the um, Food and Agricultural Organization that help out countries that have um, issuing uh, supply issues uh, using their own homegrown vegetables and homegrown produce and the FAO come in and help them out. A while ago I did a video um, where they celebrated the 50th anniversary of the FAO and I did a small video about it and showed some coins then. That is the end of this particular coin hunt. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have please give me the thumbs up and I would I'll be absolutely delighted if you would subscribe to the channel. If you're having a hunt yourself I do hope you are successful and you find the coins that you want. If you are buying coins from the internet, I hope you can get the coins that you want at the price you want to pay. In the meantime, until we meet next time, hopefully on another video of mine. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.